Hello everyone. So today let us continue our journey of using EVBI and yeah I know it has been a while. I started working on EVBI reports. In fact uh, I have made I believe 10 videos on EVBI but uh, I didn't really get a chance to make more videos but today I was doing something with ECBI and I thought I'll probably also share it with all of you. Now, using ECBI, of course, you can create wonderful reports. And uh, when you create reports, let us say you are creating a report based on uh, a custom field or maybe status or priority or resolution or, you know, you have different fields in Jira. Now, let us create a simple report and uh, wh what we'll do, we'll uh, basically create a report where we'll probably list the issues based on uh, let us say priority right so let me uh, bring in my priority here and uh, the moment i bring in my priority you can of course immediately see that uh, we do have uh, something in this particular uh, area where we can see that we have uh, 479 issues and we can of course go to the priority and uh, we can also just you know click on the expand and we can see here that we have most of the priorities that are low or lowest some of them are medium and uh, five of them are highest and uh, 33 of them are high now this is fine we know that uh, we are talking about highest high medium low and lowest what if you just want three priorities what if you just want uh, this particular report to show you uh, the same information but maybe you want to combine two of these priorities and this can be applied or this logic can be applied to basically any field uh, or any any dimension that you see on top and for doing this what we'll do okay let, let us uh, just uh, you know collapse it and uh, what we will do we will uh, take a look at this option here called uh, define a new calculated member and we'll click on it and let us call our uh, um, I mean, we, we, we need to name it, right? So let us call it uh, only, or just high, maybe. High, right? And what we need to do, we need to use one function um, called aggregate. And uh, we have to basically uh, do something here. So what we'll do, we'll select here. Uh, and if you press your uh, square brackets, you can actually then uh, select uh, various fields that you may want to work on for example right now we are working with priority so let us select priority and if you press dot and if you press uh, the square brackets again you can then select so what we want to do now is we want to combine highest and high together so let us select both of them and uh, i'll probably just uh, expand this I, I don't need to expand this i think we have enough space so the second thing is we want uh, high so i'll select here high and that is it and this is uh, high and i'll create it and uh, what what is wrong here calculated mem okay calculated okay so i need to use uh, something else here i need to name it as maybe only high whatever whatever name you want to give it okay so let us cross this and uh, create so this is our uh, first calculated measure and if you click on it it will show you this information and uh, we can actually uh, define a new one again and what we'll call it only medium and we'll do the same thing right because we are simply now interested in combining those uh, priorities and for the medium one we just have i believe a uh, one which is uh, medium and uh, we'll create it and we'll then create maybe one more and that is uh, for low only low aggregate curly braces and then square brackets priority dot low and 
priority dot lowest so this is it and uh, what this report will now do it will of course uh, give you this option where you can select only high only medium and only low and of course uh, we have the total here that you can obviously <laughs> you can obviously uh, take a look at if you want but uh, the, th the thing is that we are now able to consolidate this very easily and uh, this is of course uh, really useful because uh, now you know how to basically combine these uh, different uh, uh, values together and if you are maybe using uh, the, the the report where uh, maybe you are talking about issue type maybe you want to combine defects bugs or whatever issue types that are basically talking about something which is not working you can maybe combine them together you can call it something and all, all, all the issue types where you're talking about requirements or you know story or epic or feature you can call it something else and then you can of course you know create a report a very high level report good thing about evbi is that uh, you can always uh, break it up if you have to so you can obviously you know see here what is happening and uh, this is of course the beauty of uh, evbi and uh, what we will do because we want this report to be part of our uh, overall dashboard i'll probably bring in let me first save it and uh, i'll name it as uh, aggregate priority right and uh, maybe i want uh, along with the project i guess let me take a look at my dashboard i forgot what i have in my dashboard right now i, I want those uh, common pages those uh, uh, filters so we have project and issue type so let us add the project and uh, issue type save the report go back to the dashboard click on edit and uh, i have uh, do i have uh, the option here to add a report i can add a report but i'm trying to figure out where so let me add a uh, aggregate priority and it will be of course added at the very bottom which i believe uh, i can move somewhere okay anyways it is still here and i'll move probably move it to left side and 50 uh, percent and uh, maybe i'll save it so this is of course our new dashboard and if i want to just focus on one project which is android i can see here that the result is now showing you only uh, only android based projects so that is the good thing right you have always this, this option to further filter these reports so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye